Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm going to begin work today on my Cascade style lemon tree. I kept this tree cool in the basement over the winter, just sort of dormant. And then I brought it up into the outdoor greenhouse where it was sitting under the benches and it just exploded in growth in spring. You can see how healthy it is. The leaves look in really good shape. So it's really healthy. So it needs a pruning. I'm going to uh, bring it back in size. You can see it's getting so heavy here that the pot is kind of, it's on the verge of tipping over. So I need to take a bit of weight off this side of the tree. I'm taking an overall look at the tree and it's looking quite nice. This shoot here on the left hand side is a brand new shoot that came up last year and I pruned it off short here and then it's regrown up again and I've already got the trunk divides into two here I don't think I need that third one there so I, I think I'm going to remove that entire vertical branch I kind of want it more sweeping outwards and I have this vertical branch here that I can form kind of an apex here to keep that flow to the uh, to the entire tree all right, I'm going to take that entire branch off. So I need to come in here, like about here. So here I go, just like that. So I think that looks better. I like that structure just dividing into two here. I think three was just too much. I'm going to take a look from the front again, kind of evaluating the design of the tree. I'm looking from the front and I think kind of a form like that would be better for the upper profile. Something like that. So I need to take off some shoots from here and some shoots here. All right. So I wanted to take some height off here. So I've got some good branching in this area, so I'm going to take it off right here. Taking the top off. This branch coming out front, I'll take it off right here. Being a little conservative at first. So I'm kind of pruning all these new shoots back in size, doing directional pruning pruning it off just above leaves that are facing outwards it comes off I'm going to prune all these tips back too, pruning them back to the you know close to the origin of that shoot leaving some of the new growth on and again using directional pruning so that finishes the preliminary pruning, taking all those new long shoots back. So I'm still not finished. I've got to evaluate the look of the tree or the design and then take any further steps. There's some yellow leaves in here, some older leaves. I'm going to remove those. You can see they were kind of just older leaves that have, yeah. They've done their thing. Now, out the front here, I have an interesting shoot. There's a shoot pointing downwards, and then I have a new growth up front that's kind of um, shooting more upwards. So I'm going to prune it back to some downward facing leaves here, like that. All right, I'll come out front now and have another look at the tree. All right, I'm having a look at it now. So I think it's still kind of, it's too dense in this section and it's a little high in the apex still. So I'm going to have to do some branch selection, pruning away some or shortening them back. It may involve a bit of hard pruning or Hail Mary cuts, hoping I get new shoots in that area. Usually you do on a lemon tree. If you prune them back hard, you get all kinds of new shoots coming out of the older wood as long as the branch is woody. If it's green, you've got to use directional pruning. 
So I think the biggest problem is I have a cascade branch here, but you can't see it. So I've got to do some thinning so you can actually see the flow line of the trunk here, not just a jumbled mass of foliage. I'll put the tree on the turntable. That'll make it easier to see what's going on. All right, let's see here. So this trunk line comes up. It divides into two here, which is fine. I've got a vertical shoot coming off the inside here. I don't need that. I'm going to remove it. Just a little short shoot. And then I've got this branch kind of slowly climbs up in height here. I'm going to hard prune it back to here, leaving just one leaf on it like that. That shortens it a lot. Off of that cascade branch, there's another vertical one here that I don't need at all. I'm going to remove that entirely like that. You can see how that flattens that branch out. So you can kind of see the shape of it a little more. I'm wondering, do I really even need this one branch? It comes out here and then it divides out here. Do I need one back here? I better keep it. You never know, I might need it someday. So I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to try and flatten this branch out by pruning it. So I'm going to take the vertical part off the top here. Like that. And I'm going to... I'm going to snip this part off here. It was kind of heading uphill. And there's another branch here I can shorten right back to here. Taking that back. There's an old leaf I can take off here. And that really improves the flow line of this, this trunk here. I'll take this leaf off too. So that really kind of flattens this area out nicely. Now I've got to decide about this branch. It's not the worst in the world. It is nice that it divides from one to two here. But I think I definitely, I don't want this one growing over top of the other branch here. It's not right over top of it, but if I can prune it to direct it out the back, I think that would be better. So I'm looking for a leaf that faces a good direction here. I think right back to here. So here I go. Like that. So now this can grow in this direction. And it's shorter, so it's not quite as dominant. So you, your eye kind of flows out to this part of the branch of the, uh, the tree. I'll take this upward facing leaf off just to clean it up a bit. Now this apex was too high. So let me have a look at it. Um, Well, all I can do is reduce it back. I could reduce this one back to here, so I will. Taking the tip off that branch. Uh, the one up here, I have an old leaf that's facing forward here. You can see it here. And I could do a hard prune just above there, and I will. So here I go, taking that off. And the same out the back, I've got a leaf facing backwards. I can prune the tip off here, so I... And that'll shorten the height. That looks much better, it's more in proportion. So now I've got this branch out the back here, which is a little dominant. It's getting too large compared to this cascading branch. So I've got to prune it back. And I'm just looking from the front. You know, it's nice having something back here to kind of give the tree more dimension. But I've got to keep it fairly simple too and light. So I like, there's sort of a cascading branch down here. I'm going to remove this vertical growth. It's blocking everything like that. So 
you can see that vertical growth is removed and then I've got to shorten everything more so I'm looking for leaves I could come right back to here taking the spider with me and I can come right back to here shortening that it's a little straight in this section in the future I may have to come in and give it a hard prune back to about here but I've got to let this branch get a little more woody first there's an old leaf on the inside here I can remove and that's about it I think that's let me just see it from the front I think this branch here kind of spoils the design it, everything flows kind of downward nicely and this one kind of kicks up I've got the remains of a leaf stub back here I could prune it off and I think I will hard pruning it right to here that looks much better there's a couple of older leaves hanging down I can remove this one here and there's another one hanging down right here that I'm going to remove Yeah, that cleans that up quite nicely. So I think, I think that's looking quite good. Here's a look at the lemon tree now. Next up, I'm going to work on these pomelo seedlings these seeds were sent to me by William from Singapore and they're about two and a half years old. A lot of people ask me, how old do I let my seedlings go before I begin bonsai work on them? And I, I always tell them, grow them as tall as you can until you run out of room and then prune them back. And these ones have kind of grown up now. So they're hitting, they're on the floor of the greenhouse and they're hitting the top bench. So I've got to prune them back. I could keep them outside, but they're really, really happy in the greenhouse, so I'm going to keep them in there. So today I'll do the first work on them, pruning them back in height. All right, so here I go. So these were started from seed. They took over a month to germinate. And they, these two were kept cool in the basement over the winter. And then in spring, I brought them up, put them in the greenhouse, and they just took off. And you can see how vigorous they are. And they look very healthy so today i'm going to do the first work pruning them back and i've got to pick a point and usually that point is where where do i want my lowest branch on the tree to begin so pomelos because they have fairly large leaves you want to grow them as a medium to a larger size bonsai so my lowest branch should be fairly high so i'm thinking you know a height of somewhere about here would be good that's a choo-choo. So I'm going to look for an outward facing leaf. So I'm thinking this one right here. There's a leaf facing outwards here and a couple here. So here I go. Taking the top off that. The next one. I'm going to go a little lower to here. The next one a little higher up to here. This one to here. This one I think to here. This one, I'm gonna go a little higher on this one, right up to here. I'm just kind of making my thicker trunk ones a little higher. And no particular reason. And the one in the middle, I'll make that the tallest one to here. 
that really gets my pomelos back down to size and a little more compact so they can grow again and they'll start developing their first branches. Here's a look at the pomelos now. So you can see where I cut them off at the top. They're starting to get kind of woody trunks on them. They're still green, but they're getting a bit of a woody look to them. So I'll put these back in the greenhouse too on the lower, on the floor. They seem to be growing quite well in there. There's everything I took off. So these have really wicked thorns on them also, like most citrus. You can see the big spikes. So wherever you put these to compost them, make sure it's somewhere where you won't step on them because they're sharp. The last tree I'll be working on today is also a lemon tree. It was one of the three that were donated to me. One is the Cascade lemon I worked on at the beginning of the video. One of them died, the tall skinny one. It, it got dug up twice by squirrels and it, it, it never recovered. And the last one is the, the largest one and it's starting to fill in really nicely. So today I'm just going to prune back the new long shoots. The largest lemon tree here is developing quite nicely and it's looking quite nice. And a lot of people might say, well, why do you want to prune it if it's looking quite nice? And the reason is that some of these branches, these new shoots are getting quite long and there's no branching off of them. So even though it fills out the canopy, they need to be pruned back to get more branching tighter to the, uh, the outer canopy of the tree. It's getting kind of long and leggy. And there's a lot of branches in this area that are getting quite congested. There's branches upon branches. You can't really see the structure of the tree. So it needs a bit of thinning out in some areas. I'm going to start the pruning now. So I'm going to start at the top pruning back some of these new long shoots. So I'm going to come back to here. There's one sticking straight up here. I'll leave it on there for now, but it'll probably come off. There's one coming straight out the front here. I'll uh, I'm gonna prune that back to here. One coming out the side, back to here. This one. So that's kind of got the, those new shoots at the top pruned back. I don't know if I'll keep them all. We'll uh, just gonna prune the new shoots back first and then look at the overall styling of the tree. There's a few big spider webs in here. And I can see a spider here that's not looking so happy that I'm disturbing his home. However, okay, so let's look at some of the other branching now. So there's one, a vigorous one growing out the side here that will need pruning back. And I think I'm going to come back to here. There's one here. Prune it back to here. There's one growing out here. Prune it back to here. Taking the tip off. There's one coming out the front here. Put it back to here. Another one coming out front here. Put it off to there. There's one coming out here. So I notice there's a lot of branches in here. The trunk kind of comes up and then some of the branches just go absolutely 90 degrees. 
there's no kind of upwards flow to them. So those may have to be removed. There's one here that's not looking good at all. So I, I and it's also growing. I have the trunk come up and it divides here. And this one grows right over top of all these other branches. So I'm going to remove that one. I just know I'm not going to use that. So that comes off. That opens this area up a bit. I'm still very congested in this area. There's one, a vertical one growing here. I've already pruned it off, but I'm thinking, thinking I don't want that at all. So I'm going to remove that. There's a nice branch that kind of flows out front here. So off comes that vertical part. And then I can reduce the length of this branch back. Take some of the tips off. And I don't, I've kind of, I've kind of got it, it divides here. There's one that goes up and another one that kind of goes horizontal. I'd prefer it to kind of grow out this direction. So I'm looking for a leaf that I can prune this lower branch back to right here. That'll encourage some growth coming out here. And then I don't know if I want that top one. It's kind of growing up into the other parts of the branches up here. Um, maybe I'll just prune it back a little lower for now. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I'm going to just prune this upper part off like that. I'll keep my other branches here for now. There's a branch shoot here. I've got to reduce this back, so I'm going to put it back to there. There's an old leaf on the inside I'm going to remove. That'll get a little more light to the interior of this tree. An old leaf here I can take off. Another one here. Just get more light in here, so I might get some more back branching, or back budding. Um, so there's a branch here. It's got a bit of an upward sweep, and there's a part, a low part that goes into the other branch. So I'm going to prune this lower part off, like that. And then there's a part that sticks straight up here. I'll prune that back, just to get a little branch separation. And then I'm going to prune this one back to here. Shortening it. So it's starting to get rid of some of the congestion over here. Not all of it. Prune this one back. Now, so I've got to sort out this branch structure here. It's getting very, very congested. So I've got, I've got an upper branch here that kind of continues that uphill flow, which is nice. Off of that, I have a horizontal branch underneath. So I think I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to prune off some of the vertical growth on it just to get some separation in there. Hard to get a bit of separation. I'm going to take off this lower one here. It's just, it's just too congested here. Just taking off some of the upward facing leaves here. Well, that's getting a little better. I think I've got to 
I'm gonna move that upwards branch here. Keeping my more drooping one. So I will, here I go, taking that off. And you see I'm getting more separation in here now. I'm gonna prune, there's one kind of going upwards here. I'm going to prune that off, just a small one. Prune the tip here. There's a branch coming out the back here. You can see this branch comes up and it divides into two. And then this branch is kind of growing back towards the other one. So I'm going to remove that inside branch here. So that's gone. Just to help get some separation between these branches. Off this branch is one that kind of comes backwards, grows towards this branch. I'll remove that one also. Like that. That helps a lot. There's one here I can remove. There's two branches, I'll remove one of them. There's one coming out the back here that I haven't pruned. It's a little long. It's one branch, it divides the two here. So I'm going to prune this one back a bit to here. There's a branch growing up here that I don't think I need. I'm going to prune it back short. Take off this vertical leaf here. Again, trying to get a bit of separation in here. Okay, so I think I've done a rough pruning. I'm going to step back and have a look at the overall design. I'm having an overall look at the tree now from the distance. It has a lot of, you know, kind of straight shoots on it that aren't very compact. So I think the solution to this is to let the tree grow, you know, over the summer. And then when it's dormant in the winter, hard kind of hard prune it back. All those long straight branches, hard prune them back so they get more subdividing in spring and more compact inner nodes. It's kind of uh, a bit loose looking, the foliage on this tree. However, it is starting to get a tree, tree-like form, which is nice to see. So I think that's the solution. Uh, just let the new shoots grow in this summer. Make sure the tree gets lots of vigor over the summer. Keep it dormant in the winter. And then before it starts leafing out in spring, before I bring it up from the cold basement into the greenhouse, I'll do a hard prune on it and then let it leaf out once again. I think eventually kind of how the tree is framed now would be a nice eventual height for the tree, kind of pruning it back to that that kind of a size. It's time now for today's updates. There is two things I shouldn't go to. One is a nursery because I'll buy more trees. The other is a garage sale. And I went to a garage sale this morning and I saw this table here and I thought, I wonder if I could convert that into a bonsai table. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. And so these legs, they just unscrew from the bottom. They're held on with wing nuts. And I was thinking maybe I can somehow, you know, cut the feet off, lighten it up so it doesn't have all this heavy trim and make it into a long bonsai table so I could have my sarissa down the one end maybe and the accent plant down the other end. It might look nice. I'm gonna try it. The table was only $20. So I thought, you know, for $20, if I can make a nice table, a nice display out of it, it'll be worth it. I pruned one of my elms, one of the ones I dug up from the backyard in a previous video. And you can see it's all leafing out again. And I'm getting some back budding down here on the trunk, which is really good because I did want to eventually shorten the tree. And you can see the back of this tree has kind of a, a cool trunk. So you can see if I shorten the tree down to here, I have this really cool trunk and I could develop a new canopy down here. So making it a, a very small tree. I think that would be pretty cool. I have more citrus trees to prune still. I have my orange tree here, the little mini oranges. Um, so that needs pruning. And in the glass greenhouse, I also have my 
lemon tree that I grew from a seed. Here in the corner of the glass greenhouse is the lemon tree I grew from a seed. I won't go in there because Mr. Mister is working away spraying mist all over this area right now. So yeah, it's doing really well in its new pot. It's growing really strongly. You can see it's getting misted right now. So that, that can use a prune in the future too. My larch forest is growing in really nicely. You can see the second flush of growth coming on really strong now. There were a few shoots, like maybe six to eight of them, really long ones that I pruned off. Well, here's another one. You can see it right here. I should have pruned that one, but I missed that one. Yeah, just to get all rid of all the long shoots. So everything coming in now is the second flush of growth. It's looking nice, tight and compact. So that's good to see. So I'll let that grow in and then once they get long enough, I'll be pruning it for the second time this season. My Norfolk Island forest has transitioned from the greenhouse to full sun outdoors and it's doing really well. There's some new shoots coming in up top. So that's good. The ash tree that I got from David's last summer is doing really well. It's growing huge. Uh, there's where I chopped it right here. And you can see how nicely it's developing. So I think it's pretty close to uh, needing another pruning. These shoots are getting quite long up here. So that'll be coming up in the future. I'll do this ash tree and the one I dug up from the front garden over here. This one, which is just getting enormous. So once these shoots kind of, uh, I guess they've stopped growing the first flush of growth, I could probably prune it back. So th that'll be coming up. My Scots pine, root over rock, the flat top one, looking really good. There's the rock, all those roots out the back here. Yeah, looking pretty cool. You can see where I removed an elbow here. It's almost totally healed. I took a, a bump off the top here and that's beginning to heal too. It'll eventually heal over. Yeah, it's coming along nicely though. It's getting a nice, nice canopy on it. There's a lot of these older needles I can remove now. Yeah, but I'm very happy with it. So far the clip and grow technique is working well on this canopy. My ponytail palm is doing well in the sun here. It's, um, it was kind of shriveled up looking over the winter and I notice now that it's been out in the rain and I've been watering it more that it, it's swelled up and it's looking quite nice. Um, the yuccas are out here. I'm just waiting for them to get strong enough and then I'm going to hard prune them. So I'm going to be taking them off very short with no foliage, just the trunks, which are, you know, the best part of these yuccas. It's a cool forest. It's just too tall right now. So they are growing really well. You can see the new leaves coming in here. So I think, I'm thinking maybe my birthday around, you know, the beginning of July there, I'll be doing the big chop. That way they have July and August to recover outdoors here in full sun. I think that'll work quite well. My asparagus fern was looking a bit rough over the winter. Uh, last year's shoots were kind of turning yellow. So now it's starting to grow in again and it's starting to green up really nicely. Uh, there's a new shoot there coming out down below. You can see it. So that'll be uh, fun pruning this up again, making it look more like a tree form. My Rose of Sharon here, my little seedling, made it through the winter and it's doing well. And also my little Catalpa seedling that Mark gave me made it through the winter. And I think, I think Mark gave me this one too. Yeah, doing quite well. The Natal Ficus, looking good. You can see these shoots are starting to grow. The ones on the yellowy kind of side, they're just starting to put out new leaves now which is really cool. And I have no idea why this side is yellowy and this side's green. I can't figure it out. Both sides are healthy. There's a new shoot coming off the trunk here, which I don't think I'm gonna keep. I'll probably rub that off. 
My crown of thorns is doing well. It's used to full sun now, developing nicely. So that should flower over the summer, get all those pink flowers on it. It'll look pretty cool. And I bought that other one, the one with the white flowers the other day. So I'll have two crown, two crown of thorns. And so far it's working really well as a bonsai, responding to pruning quite well. I just prune it once a year, let it grow flower. And then in winter I prune it back again. And it seems to work. Tomorrow I'm heading on a big road trip. I'm going to see Zinn and David from the Toronto Bonsai Society. So that should be a lot of fun. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>